warning. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Trying to duplicate the shown procedures may result in serious injury or even death. Hi, in this video we will recover gold from 4450 pieces optocouplers, aka opto isolators, weighing 2.5 kilograms. and 1500 pieces transistors. First we had to incinerate and grind the ICs to a fine powder. We placed the finely ground photocouplers into the crucible, and we added lead and silver. When the lead has melted we added sodium hydroxide and stirred. About 10 minutes later the melt was runny like water. After another 5 minutes we poured the melt into a steel mold and left it cool. Then we broke the slag layer and put the gold loaded lead back in the crucible. When the lead melted we added the gold-plated discs from the transistors. When the stainless steel discs heat up to redness, we stirred the melt for a few minutes. After that we poured the discs through a stainless steel strainer. After cooling we put the doré into a stainless steel tray for scorification. Scorification may be defined as a reduction and a partial or preliminary cupellation, successively performed in the same container without removal of the container from the muffle, until volatilization is stopped by the slag entirely covering the charge. The scorified doré is moved to another stainless steel tray for cupelling. Cupellation
Doré dissolution in concentrated nitric acid. Upon cooling silver nitrate crystallizes out of the concentrated solution. The gold residue is washed free of any nitrates. Gold residue is dissolved in aqua regia. Solution is denoxed with sulfamic acid. We diluted the solution with the same volume ice cold water.
Filtration The crystal clear solution is poured into a large beaker for gold precipitation. Gold precipitation with SMB powder. Solution is boiled to speed up the precipitation process. Gold sponge is moved to a small beaker and boiled with concentrated hydrochloric acid.
After boiling for couple of minutes, the washing acid is combined with the SMB solution, left from the precipitation step. Fresh acid is added and the process is repeated until the washing acid remained free from color. The third boiling in hydrochloric acid produced no coloration, so we move to the next washing step, boiling in water. After boiling the gold sponge four times in water, we moved it to a melting dish, and sprinkled some borax on top.
melting. The button is boiled in dilute hydrochloric acid to remove excess borax. We were pleasantly surprised by the result, as our client was expecting 60 grams gold.
almost 67 grams pure gold. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below.